Hello and welcome to On The Wrist. Today we have the Walder & Co. Chrono 39 Sardinia. This watch is a 39mm chronograph, mecha quartz movement, awesome rectangular pushers, and on a beautiful mesh bracelet. This watch has quite a compelling design as well as feature set for a price that comes in just under $300. This video will be a full technical review as well as an overview of the design details of this watch. Without further ado, let's get right into the review. Now before we get started, I do want to clarify that the brand did send me this watch for review. However, the brand does not get any input into the video and does not see it until after the video is released. So I want to start off by talking about some of the design details of this watch. Now notably for me, this beautiful blue sunburst dial is what caught my attention at the beginning. It's really fun how the light plays with it depending on how you move it. And what I really enjoy about this is that the hands have a very sharp aspect to them. They come down like points of swords almost. It's a very, I would say, refined chronograph, a little dressier than I would normally wear, but I do enjoy the visual design, the outer ring with the minute tracker, very well executed, and it's important to note that the five minute markers, those silver rectangular bars, do match up very nicely with the markers on the tracker. For me, I am an absolute sucker for rectangular chronograph pushers, which this watch has. A very different look, and not many watches have it. This watch has several different polishes. It has a mirror polish on the outer bezel, with the side of the case being a regular brushed look. The sub-dials for the chronograph, as well as the 24-hour indicator, are recessed, so it adds some nice dynamic dimensions to the dial, where there's the raised indices, there is the flat dial, and then there is the recessed sub-dials. It makes this watch interesting to look at from multiple angles and gives that dial that depth that it needs to kind of stand apart from generic watches in this price point. I'll bring up the technical specs on the left. We have a diameter of 39 millimeters. The thickness is 11.15 millimeters thick, so relatively thin. Lug width of 20 millimeters. The case is a rhodium plated 316L stainless steel. The movement is the Seiko VK64 hybrid movement. I want to break in real quick and explain the Mecha Quartz movement. What this is, is it's a mix of the best of both worlds where it's relatively cheap like a quartz watch. However, for the chronograph seconds hands, as you see there, it's actually sweeping along like an automatic watch would. And when you hit the chronograph reset button like that, it snaps back just like a mechanical chronograph, even though the main movement is quartz. If this had been a full quartz chronograph, the chronograph seconds hand would slowly have swept back to the 12 o'clock instead of that nice solid snapback. Another thing to note, because this watch does not have a seconds hand, you don't actually notice that it's quartz, and because it's mecha quartz, it gives the appearance of a full mechanical watch. The water resistance is 10 ATM, or 100 meters, and the crystal is a sapphire crystal. And there is no loom whatsoever on this watch. Taking a closer look at the bracelet, this is a mesh bracelet. Uh, it's rhodium plated, so it has a nice shine to it, and very pleasant on the hands. Moderate thickness, so it feels nice on the wrist. But one thing that I would say that I'm not as big a fan of is that the kind of clasp down here, you'll see here, there's a little bar that the other section clips onto, that bar there. And that I've found in other watches of similar styles is kind of fragile, meaning it can be get bent out of shape, making it kind of hard to close the clasp over time. I haven't worn this enough to really see if that'll be an issue on this watch, but it's something I've dealt with in the past. Let's get a couple shots on the wrist. But real quick, let's check what time it is. It looks like it's time to like and subscribe. Did you know that less than 3% of viewers are actually subscribed to the channel? So if you are enjoying this video and like my content, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button because it will significantly help this video in the YouTube algorithm. But thank you for watching and let's get back to the review. So here we have it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. The 39 millimeters is probably my favorite size right now. I think it's just a perfect balance of size, taking up enough real estate on my wrist, but also still having plenty of space to comfortably fit. I've really enjoyed this bracelet. I'm not a big fan of it visually, to be honest, but it was incredibly comfortable and I found it very easy to get a nice fit. Again, the rectangular chronograph pushers are something I truly enjoy about this watch and this blue dial catches the light so nicely. So let's talk MSRP and value. MSRP of this watch is 299 US dollars. For that, you're getting the Mecha Quartz Movement, Sapphire Crystal, 
316L stainless steel case, nice finishing, and actually I think overall really good attention to detail. I think for that price point, this is actually exactly where I would expect a watch of this caliber to be. In particular, the sapphire crystal and mecha quartz movement at this price point, really excellent, and the fact that it's not just a flat dial, has multiple dimensions to it, applied indices. The only things I would fault it for is no loom, but then again, it is a dress watch, so that's not such a big deal. And I'm not a huge fan of the mesh strap. However, I think it is well executed, it's comfortable, and because it's quick released, it can be chained out quite easily. And also, as I mentioned earlier, the one point of the clasp on the strap, I think that's a bit of a weak point, but again, could be swapped out fairly easily. So in conclusion, I think this watch is appropriately priced for what it is. I was very pleased handling it, and overall, I think it would make, make a good place in most people's collection. But let me know down in the comments below, what do you think about this watch? Do you like the style? What do you think of the price point? Any comments, I'd love to hear what you think down below. That's all for me today. This has been On The Wrist. Thank you for watching.